hundreds of years, the wild Sardinian mountains have shielded the shepherds and their flocks from the outside world. But the days of the simple shepherd are numbered. The mountain villages they sustained no longer fortresses against the modern world. But one man saw something special here, an opportunity to exploit this isolation in his hunt for the genes that define disease. Because unlike cities where genetic lines are jumbled beyond recognition, here they run straight and pure. A unique opportunity to trace back hereditary diseases hundreds of years. Finding a gene is just the beginning of a reef project. And the reef project is to, to prevent a cure the disease. And we are talking of, of course of disease which affect uh, uh, probably 100 million uh, people in the world. Dr. Perastu and his team are unlocking the power of a unique mountain resource. The very blood that binds may one day also cure, and at the same time create a future for these people where before there was none. Continuity and tradition are words that may have been invented in Talana. A thousand plus residents, their bloodlines so tightly interwoven, it creates a genetic tapestry of scientific beauty. In the Talana Cemetery, two features catch a visitor's eye. The first is they seem to live forever. The second, there are just a handful of surnames, shared by most of the residents here and up in the village. Questa è la parte antica di Talana. Questa è una, una casa un po' vecchia. Qui abbiamo la piazza del. Giordano Serra is mayor of Talana, where he's lived all his life. He knows every single person in town, and more than likely, he's related to them. Talana, le prime notte su Talana risalgono al mille, quelle ritrovate almeno risalgono al 1300. It was founded by 11 women and 9 women. And about 85% of the population resident in this moment in Talana is due to these 20 soci founders. No one forced 69-year-old Antonio Lay to give his blood his time and his medical history to the gene research program. What started in Talana has spread to nearby villages. Just about everyone wants to get in on the research into genetic links to disease. Once they trace back defective genes within a family, they can start to isolate what makes them different from everyone else. Ho l'età che ho e non mi interesserebbe personalmente per me, però se c'è qualche cosa che si può scoprire per l'avvenire per, per i giovani e curare qualche malattia. Take a common and possibly inherited problem in Talana, hypertension. When all known sufferers are identified, their ancestors can then be traced hundreds of years back to the original 11 women and 9 men. By retracing the genetic family trees right back to the present again, the researchers discover a genetic trail that can track everyone with a defective gene. The next step, correcting the fault. The hope one day to beat not just hypertension, but heart disease, cancer, and even depression. Research, I think, is like hope, because if you don't believe in research, you cannot hope, in a, especially if you are ill. I think so. So I think they believe, especially for the ne uh, next generations, it is important. The rhythms of life here are as regular as the bell. The faces change over time, but the traditions don't. <laughs> Despite the clash of science and religion, 
especially over genetics. The local priest fully supports this research project. He says the main questions asked are not about ethics, but money. Ognuno poi si serve di questa ricchezza per fare i propri guadagni più che puntare a un benessere per le persone, anche del, non solo di, di Talana, anche della Sardegna, dell'Italia, dell'Europa, del mondo. Quindi è sorto, è sorto eh, questo problema. But if good health comes before money, already Talana and the other villages have been paid a dividend. Eye doctors had never been here before. Specialist treatment went a three-hour drive and fees most here can't afford. These places are so isolated that they're not very easy. Uh, they are reached by the public health system. And we uh, brought here several specialists and they are probably one of the best studied population uh, in Sardinia. Uh, they are spoiled, sort of. Noi lavoriamo sulla base dei dati che sono conservati in questo archivio che andremo a vedere adesso, che si chiama Archivio Storico Diocesano. Christian Lotto is a genetic sleuth. The project would never have begun without the archival gold mine kept by the Catholic Church. Dopo il Concilio di Trento. So how far do these records go back for Talana, for example? Talana è il primo paese che è stato preso in considerazione e questo è il registro più antico del 1643. From Talana, every birth, christening, marriage Nella parrocchia della chiesa e così mano a mano si torna sempre più indietro. Ed è possibile ricostruire tutto l'albero genealogico delle varie famiglie di Talana. Talana è già stato fatto, poi altri paesi, alcuni sono stati già fatti, altri sono in via di, eh, di elaborazione. I mean, this is personal too, isn't it? Your family actually sì. comes from Talana. Yes, uh, I'm from Talana. Um, vengo da Talana, mio padre non è talanese, ma mia mamma, mia mamma è talanese. E mia nonna, il cognome Muggiano, è uno dei cognomi più antichi di Talana. The names etched in ancient manuscripts are given a rather more modern home as the great Talana family tree grows and grows, following the roots of faulty genes back hundreds of years. And it's, uh, it's been very isolated for sì, a very long time. Yes, it's very isolated. It's very isolated because eh, la strada che stiamo percorrendo adesso è stata asfaltata nel 1970, eh, la corrente elettrica è arrivata nel 1967. Here in the mountains, Christian can combine his two loves, genetics and opera. Delle belle trovando il riposo, l'arcesetto ad un cino d'amor. Michelle lives in Talana with four generations of family. Sardinian hospitality always comes before business. Mi deve dare un giudizio, se è migliore questo o il vino che ha fa, fatto a pari? E già è buono anche quello di Babbo, dai. Eh, dai. Salute. 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 Cin cin. Buono però. Dove andate? Con tanti di But soon the checking and cross checking begins. Because the family histories must be accurate. Dovuto... Sì. Io devo parlare di mio padre perché non ha conosciuto né il padre e né la madre. No, mo eh, morti... È praticamente orfano, lui aveva quattro anni. La spagnola aveva, insomma. Ecco, nel 18. Nel 18. Nel 18. Mio nonno aveva 30, 35 anni e mia nonna 25. Lo sai, mamma? Messo in capitale. Dagli gli auguri, mamma. Mamma, dagli gli auguri. Older eyes have seen a lot of life in Talana. Questo è il dottore. Ecco. Lei ha 100 anni. 
They witnessed the assault of the outside world on their mountain fortress. Seen the sealed roads, the electricity, the TVs arrive, and their young depart. Cioè, la festa è rimessa a posto, ma non si può comprare e metterla a posto. Ma certo, questo è un piano anche sotto, eh? quindi qui ah, c'è il pav sotto, cioè. pavimento in legno, pavimento in legno, qui ci sono... Che carina questa casa. Sì. Ed è metà di una sorella. The priest and the geneticists share a passion for preserving the few remaining old stone houses in Tolana. E le case Beh, antiche. perché appunto sarebbe carina da tenere come casa sì. museo alla fine, no? Certo, almeno certo. Una, dico, almeno almeno una, 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 lasciarne okay. almeno qualcuno, invece eh, certo. non stanno lasciando nulla. Eh. Perché non c'è, non c'è la, come si dice? La natalità, no? But both are even more determined that the social structures are preserved too and the mountain villages have a future as well as a past. For Dr. Parastu, his return was motivated by far more than the cold clinical eye of research. After 40 years I came back and uh, while I was driving, the first day I started to cry. And uh, I think, uh, I feel uh, this kind of emotion every time I come here. I don't have any explanation. Uh, I'm not searching for any explanation, by the way. I'm just like uh, the feeling. It's a good feeling? Absolutely. In the mountains above Talana, Natale makes his sheep milk cheese exactly as his father taught him. And he learned his shepherd's trade from who knows how many generations before that. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. With the European Union banning these handmade cheeses, his children more interested in video games than herding sheep, Natale understands the world as he knows it can't survive. <laughs> that he can accept, but what upsets him most is the fear he'll lose his children to the cities. Salute. 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 Natale takes me to the old hut where until just ten years ago he used to live. Prego. Qua facciamo tutto, formaggio, ci dormiamo, adesso si usa per, più che altro per stagionare il formaggio. Ecco. Uh -huh. Up to 20 people used to live here at a time, sleeping on mats, the cheese is hanging above to absorb the smoke, but times are changing. La gente adesso sta, sta sparendo, cioè non, ha, non ha più quell'affetto per l'ambiente, per, per il bestiame, cioè preferiscono la città. While Natale supports the genetics project, he loves the free health care, he doesn't think it'll change his life. Bellissimo. Bellissimo, perché io ho quattro cose in testa. Salute, amore, affetto, passione. Poi soldi arrivano. Se hai quelle quattro cose, <ride> capito? Many people here see a quiet revolution ahead as well as unlocking genetic secrets about disease, the Talana project may also prove the mountains and their people live the ideal life. And with the internet and expanded research projects, Dr. Perastu and his team hope to reverse the flow towards the cities. We like to prove that uh, this is the best place to live and uh, to live with simple things and not with 
very complicated and stressful life. So maybe uh, this place will be full of people uh, in the next uh, 20, 30 years. Could this be the crucible of science and lifestyle, guaranteeing the future of the mountain people of Sardinia? Or just a distant dream of an optimist, deeply in love with this stunning part of the world? <laughs>